What's up guys? My name is Zed and welcome to my home. I'll take you on a little tour. The Hollywood DJ known as Zed hails from Europe, but he's made quite the life of luxury for himself in North America. His success has allowed him to invest in a super modern mansion perched high above the hills in Los Angeles. Zed has called this multi-million dollar spread home for a few years now, and apparently the place has everything, even a Costco room that's stacked with supplies. I guess that came in handy during the pandemic. We'll give you all the details of his not so humble abode, and we even found the real estate listing. Anton Zaslavsky, aka Zed, is a DJ who's found a ton of success in Hollywood as both a record producer, songwriter, and performer. He's collaborated with the best of the best from Ariana Grande to Selena Gomez, the likes of country star Marin Morris, and much more. He's known for his electro house music but draws influence from many other genres like progressive house, dubstep, and even classical music. Most of his catchy tunes reach the tops of the charts, so it's no wonder he's found so much popularity. Zed was born in Russia and then grew up in Germany after his family moved there when he was only three. I'm German. I have a German passport, but I was born in Russia, so I'm a little bit of both. Although he wasn't living as wealthy as he is now, he was the son of two musicians, which obviously inspired him to start in the industry. His father, Igor, was a guitarist and school teacher, while his mother was a piano teacher. Zed himself is actually a classically trained musician, having started playing the piano at the young age of four and drums at age 12. Although he was a childhood piano prodigy, he used his drum skills to play metalcore music. He got his big break when he sent one of his tracks to Skrillex on MySpace. When I was growing up, we didn't really have much. So when we got a keyboard, that is what we had. And my parents would work all day and my brother and I would just sit and, and write music and record music. Like I mentioned, he's come a long way from his humble beginnings and worked hard for the fortune he now has. Zed's current estimated net worth is at about $35 million, making him one of the richest DJs in the world. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where the famous DJ Zed calls home like his gorgeous multi-million dollar estate in Benedict Canyon. And let me tell you, he has some crazy stuff in his mansion like even a Skittles machine. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed to ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Ariana Grande and her brand new mansions and Little Wayne, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. After spending years as a struggling musician in Germany playing shows for less than 10 people and losing money on each gig, Zeta said he's super grateful to be in his current position, explaining, I think it's good to have had to sleep on floors. Then you really realize if you want to do music for the right reasons, and then when you suddenly have success, you appreciate it a lot more. This is what I love to do. And eventually that passion allowed Zed to buy this mammoth of a mansion. Reports say that Zed bought this mega estate for a massive $16 million in 2018, and it's located in the Benedict Canyon area of Los Angeles. Benedict Canyon is an elite neighborhood tucked away in Beverly Hills in the west side of LA, home to the estates of other celebrities like Jay Leno, Bruce Springsteen, and many more. Zed's mansion was newly built in 2016 and it's perched high above the hills on a large 3.2 acre plot of land. He has a ton of privacy because the home is at the end of a very secluded cul-de-sac and is of course fully gated. Not to mention his home is accessed by a driveway over a moat apparently. The modern mansion is split into three separate parts, a workspace for Zed to produce his music, a living space for every day, and a sleep area for night. Inside the home spans 10,000 square feet of living space with five beds and eight baths. Zed said, I saw an ad for this house, which was way too expensive, but I asked if I could look at it for inspiration. Like if I wanted to build my own house. I drove down the gate of the house and my brain went immediately to this is something Steve Jobs would have enjoyed. I walked in here and it was so perfect. 10 further visits to the place and one full year later, the home was his. Zed wanted to make sure he brought the outdoors into his mansion, so things like a water feature in the house and an atrium with an olive tree were among the selling points. A spiral driveway leads up to the property and to the car park and entrance walkway. On the left, there's the upstairs studio space with stairs above one of the pools. The entryway to Zed's home is surrounded by water and walking into the mansion, there's an open air foyer and skylights overhead. You can already see the views of the California hills right when you step inside. When you walk in, what I really like about this place is that A, it's really open. You see a lot of glass, really tall ceilings here. So you have a little bit of everything right away. And this tree, this entire house was actually built around this tree. Unfortunately, it is dying. 
So I'm going to replace it with an artificial tree that looks just like this. And I'll also add um, an iPhone charger in there in case I ever want to charge my phone right here. Zed's modern mansion has super high wooden ceilings and floor to ceiling glass that opens everything up to the canyon views outside. The glass walls throughout help take advantage of the minimalist design and give the place an open and airy vibe. Automated smart home technology throughout allows you to control the entire home super easily. There are three steps leading into the main living area which is also covered with glass doors and there's a fireplace in this room that runs the width of the space. This state of the art chef's kitchen has four ovens, two built in smokeless grills, designer appliances, cabinets made of imported woods and a custom built in porcelain dining table. If that's not enough, the kitchen also has features like a built in vacuum under the cabinets to suck up crumbs. Aside from the eating area in the kitchen, that has a large dining room right next to it, perfect to entertain or for more formal arrangements. The main floor also offers more common areas like one with some built in shelving and a family room that's built over the hill and surrounded by glass, giving it a floating effect. Next to the dining area is that has a home movie theater and the housekeeper's bed and bath. So this is uh, the gallery, the art gallery. Um, the person who built the house um, is a big fan of art and he was playing with the thought of maybe even having some moving art pieces here. Um, I love the ceilings here because it gives you a lot of space for art. It's really tall. Much of his furniture came from his previous home and he bought some pieces from the staging company. He said although his home is really contemporary, he values warmth, explaining. I have friends who have ultra modern homes and the only thing you can imagine is having a party there. You can't imagine just laying on the couch. Do you think Zed managed to make his house both modern and welcoming? By the sun filled gallery area he showed in his tour there's also a large glass staircase that leads to the upper level of the home and a small zen garden at the bottom of the steps which adds some greenery. Probably the largest stairs ever and I think they made him so it's a little bit more comfortable to walk or run upstairs if, if it's urgent. Upstairs you'll find Zed's luxury master suite. The spacious bedroom offers panoramic views of the canyon as well as two fireplaces, one inside and one outside on his private balcony which is big enough to entertain. Zed had his bed custom made to his preferred proportions and had blackout blinds installed since he hates getting out of bed and needs darkness to sleep. Zed gave the sitting room outside his master suite a geometric theme. His friend the artist Thank You X painted these colorful cubes for him. Zed said, I love geometric shapes, I love color, that's what really gives me emotions. The glass heavy spa style ensuite bathroom comes with a soaking tub, a glass enclosed shower and dual vanities. So this is the bathroom. It's really everything I've ever wanted in a bathroom. I think it's perfect, it feels really nice. The view is nice, I love the lighting fixture. So far I've only used the bathtub once because I feel like when you buy a house with a bathtub like this, you have to use it. So I did and I'm good now. Now I'm back to the shower. Zed also has two deluxe walk-in closets meant to be his and hers, but lucky for him he has them both himself. One of them is fully dedicated to his crazy sneaker collection. Lots of shoes that I haven't even opened yet. Um, I like shoes. I guess you can tell. These are the only rooms on the upper level, the rest are on the main level, as well as three downstairs bedrooms and baths. The patio and pool are accessible from the ground floor bedrooms and from living areas of the house. Other features of Zed's modern mansion include his fancy Skittles machine and even a Costco room. This room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I call it the Costco room. Uh, and the goal for me was to stack everything up with anything I could ever use so I eventually don't have to leave the house. I guess that came in pretty handy for quarantine. There's also a private guest suite with its own entrance as well as a home gym which Zed clearly likes to take advantage of according to his Instagram. Despite the fact that this modern mansion was clearly designed for entertaining, a housewarming party of about 40 people was about as big as it got for the DJ. Zed values his privacy and much prefers opening up his Zen home to friends for poker nights and pool parties. But he's apparently only spent about two days alone in this expansive house since moving in. Moving to the outdoor area of his mansion, there's a large rooftop terrace above the family room with space to play ping pong or sunbathing if you just want to relax. There's also a stone fireplace for nighttime hangouts. The grounds have picture perfect landscaping, a built in barbecue and outdoor kitchen, dining areas, fire pits and a four car garage. Not to mention there's a stunning infinity pool and spa that Zed always keeps at 97 degrees. The hot tub is in the pool and you can't really see it when the overflow is on. And then when you turn it over to uh, jacuzzi mode, then the water level just lowers slightly and then the jacuzzi stands out. Now there were also some add-ons Zed wanted to make to his home, even though I don't think there's anything this mansion 
Mansion doesn't have. He said the garage area would be a full music studio and had plans for something like a guest complex or larger guest house and bowling alley on the property. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Either way, Zed's modern mansion is like a work of art that offers the feel of a luxury resort and plenty of space to roam and entertain. Not to mention an indoor-outdoor feel and panoramic views of the city and canyon wherever you find yourself in the home. So now we've taken a look at the Hollywood DJ and producer Zed and his modern masterpiece of a mansion in the Benedict Canyon area of LA. The place did cost him $16 million, but it really seems to have everything one could ever need. What did you guys like best about the place? The Costco room, the art gallery, there's so much to choose from. I think I loved all the glass walls and doors in the open spaces because it lets in so much natural light and just looks fancy. I also love the water features like the front door moat as well as the gorgeous infinity pull out back. Now get the hell out of here because I have a fitting starting in two minutes. Before I wrap this video up, I'll read a few comments from past house tours. These are all from the recent one we did on Ariana Grande's brand new mansion she just bought. Nicole Sabula wrote, Carrie, your house tours are wonderful and I've watched almost all of them. Thank you so much for letting us have a peek at these homes. Can you do a house tour of Kelly Clarkson? She has some really nice houses. Thanks for the support, Nicole, and I love that you've watched so many of them. I'll totally add Kelly to my list. Next, Amy de Cordova said, That was a great video. Can't wait for more. Great job, Kara. Thanks so much, Amy. And finally, Shed Atlanta wrote about Ari's new home. The modern home is stunningly beautiful. I love the minimalistic interior. Allows the structure to speak for itself. I totally agree. It's super cool and it's fit for a queen like Ariana. All right, well, that's all I've got for Zed's modern mansion, but honestly, I don't think there's much left to see. We saw almost every room in the house. Be sure to let me know what you guys liked or didn't like about his home in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!